exhaust. Okay, turning on exhaust. Take a look at her. Really don't matter. You can cover the belly. You can cover the back. Those are covering that color up. Next color is the new Wicked Opaque Orange. It's gonna cover that belly. kind of look the same but right here there's a huge difference let me set this to focus on this lower pull it out and take a look at her Yeah, the beginning of this video, I figured I was just going to be quiet and do a voiceover at the end, but I can't. So the first color I used was the uh, the uh, wicked golden yellow. All right, pull out, get a better look. It's right, still a little wet. Throw we'll some air on it. Man, I can't believe how this color looks exactly the same in this monitor. cup all right our next color up is wicked halo green we'll cover that back and down towards the shoulders hey before i forget here check this out a few months ago i had my logo made up and put on some uh some 12 inch tins pretty cool I got one hanging on my shelf and one hanging on my door in the paint room. Here's the one I run on uh, the YouTube, my YouTube logo. These were done by Christie's Wreath Creations. Any of you guys who have a YouTube channel that watch this, you go ahead and get you a custom tin made up by Christie's Wreath Creations. Here's her info here. 
I'll also leave this down in the uh, description. All right. Back to this lure. Let me see if I'm spraying right. All right. Uh -oh. That's pretty thin. Watch me mess this up. Just so I don't mess it up, I'm gonna hit it with some air. I really don't have to do the back, but I'm just now getting into, uh, well, not getting back into it, but I'm just now picking up this airbrush again after a while, so. I guess this is kind of practice here. All right, I'm going to set this up here. Move this helping hands up. All right. I'm going real light because this is real thin and I don't want to screw it up. Kind of spraying past the bait. Let me pull it out. Take take a look at her. These bad eyes of mine. Oh, that side looks pretty decent. Looks weird in the camera. Take a look at it. A little bit more on this side. I don't have to do this back. Putting black over it. Getting it with some air here, dry it up. Looking good. Looks okay on the 
monitor. Get a better look at it. Man, it looks really good. I mean, it looks really good to my, my eyes here compared to uh, what that screen is looking like. All right, we'll get this brush cleaned out and we'll, all right, on to the next step. Using a custom perch stencil. Purchased this from Cedar Run probably a little over a year ago. I used it twice already, but need to start using it again. So yeah, Cedar Run Outdoors, the, uh, the perch pattern. I'll leave the link to Cedar Run in the description. They have a wide variety of uh, stencils. I'd like to get them all. I have most of them for the, uh, the S cranks here. Oh, I got to use the the Bohemoth right here. Yeah, I have most of these stencils for the S crank. I want to get some for the uh, the Lucky Craft style crank baits. Clips that. To clip. Three clip, no more. Get this on here. Let me fold this up. When I do my stencils, I do them very, very lightly. The first first time I used one of these stencils, I went a little heavy, and I just blew it out. Totally blew it out. So I go light. I try not to uh, ruin my work. I mean, it's inevitable. It happens, but... This is pretty thin too. That probably has it. A little bit more. Air, 
temp drive. Hey, we'll temp drive because it'll take it forever to get that cleared off. When I get tip dry, I'll dip my Q-tip in a little water or whatever I have close to me, which was thinner just now. And I'll just pop my Q-tip in there and give it a couple spins. And I should get it. And then I'll spray some air a little bit. And then I'll just rub my finger like this and pinch just in case there's any fibers in there. I may grab them, may not. Fibers from the uh, Q-tip. Right. I'm working on some other little projects. And I started mixing uh, this Createx UVLS in with my paints. It acts as a flow improver, adhesion promoter, and uh, it seems to let me hold that trigger down a little longer without getting any tip dry. So, if you guys want to check that stuff out too, it's pretty cool. I'm not ever going to stop using it now. I love it. No, I'm not sponsored by Createx. That'd be cool if I was. All right, I'm gonna pull this out and get a, see if I can see inside of this bad boy. Let me get the old jeweler's loop. Guys, I made this up. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta use this. I use this when I put eyes on. I use this when I'm trying to get a detailed look at something because my eyes are shot. So I'll be using this right now. Looks like I have coverage on that side. It looks like I have coverage on this side. But what I'll do is I'll give it a quick blast. Probably don't need it, but let's take these clips off. If I don't have full coverage, what I'll do is I'll pop it back on and uh, I'll do that, fix it up off camera. But I should be okay. Looking at the monitor. On my monitor here, my crankbait is probably eight inches long compared to this two and a half inch. <laughs> so, and I still can't see that too well. All right, let me get a better look. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. That is good enough. Let's get that out of the way. And what we're going to do now is cover that back. Back in black. Back in black. I forgot to mention in the beginning, guys. This is this is beginner level stuff here. 
what I do, I try to make it so the guy just picking up an airbrush for the first time can do these patterns. And then when you get comfortable doing these easy patterns, you can step your game up and uh, try to follow some of the other YouTubers or patterns, which there's some awesome painters out there. Super awesome painters. Let me get a good look at this. Yep, I'm happy with that. What do you guys think? Beginner level, man, and it looks good. Anybody can do this stuff. I'm a legally blind guy with incorrectable vision problems, and I can do this. You just have to think about what's going on. That's it. Anybody can do it. Beginner level stuff. Next time you see this, it'll have eyes in a clear coat. Here she is all finished up. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big solid and hit that like button. If you hit that like button, this lore should come into focus. Thanks for watching Blind Symmetry Lore Painting.